Hello and welcome. Uh, we're ticking right off where we left in the last video. Again, this is a series. Check out the playlist. There should be a link in the description of this video. And uh, we have so far created this little uh, this little room with some start positions for our co-op game. Uh, we created a little indentation in the wall there, a little closet there, and a little shelf here. Let's go ahead and play with this a little bit more. Let's uh, play with our textures a bit. Or actually, no, let's let's work with things. Let's add some things besides our players to this room. So I'm going to tab to get out of our 3D preview mode, and then T on the keyboard to bring up things. You can also go down to mode and choose things. You have your list of things here, and you can also go into different categories. So let's say I wanted to add a shotgun, a super shotgun, which is a double barrel shotgun. I can come down to weapons here. And it might be hard to tell the difference between the shotguns here, but it's this one that says SGN2 is the super shotgun. So what I'm going to do to add that is I'm going to come over here. Right now I have snap on, so it will snap to our grid. I can also turn that off by hitting F to go to free mode. Uh, but I'll go ahead and leave that on, and I will hit spacebar. And by default, it's going to add uh, the last thing you have selected. Since I didn't have anything selected, it will just add a little health bonus. But now that I've added that, I can click on the shotgun here, and it's added the shotgun. You have some other options over here. It tells you the number. Everything has a type number and a description name. Uh, and then it has the coordinates of where it's placed. Angle we're not going to worry about when it comes to the shotgun. That's when it comes to uh, enemies and players. That's going to be an issue. So now you're going to choose option flags. So you have different things. Will it show up in deathmatch mode? DM. Will it show up in co-op mode? C-O-O-P. And I don't know what SP stands for. Uh, <laughs> I should. I'm sure if I thought about it, I could figure it out. Anyway, uh, the main thing when I create levels, because I'm, I'm create, I want to have different difficulty levels. So if you don't ever change this, when it comes to Doom, you have obviously, I, I believe it's five difficulty levels all the way up to nightmare mode. Um, and those different levels affect the game in two different ways. Uh, obviously, the harder the game gets, the quicker... Uh, the bad guys are going to get. Instead of seeing you, think about it, and shooting, which it might do in easy mode and hard mode, they're just going to see you and shoot you. Uh, they might also move a little bit faster. But you could also have options on having things show up in certain modes. So let's say I want to give you the shotgun here on this level if it's on easy or medium, but if you're on hard, I'm not giving you that shotgun just yet. I can uncheck that. Now this will only show up in easy and medium modes. Uh, so... It won't show up in like nightmare mode. If I was to add another thing, so I'm going to come over here and hit spacebar to add this, and now I'm going to go to web or uh, monsters, and I have these different monsters. I can add in a shotgun guy here. Now, see this way the arrow's pointing? That's the way he's facing. Uh, so if I want him looking in this corner, I can do that, and when the game starts, he won't see me because he's looking that way. So he won't turn till I get in his view or make a sound for him to hear me. And I do want him to show up in hard mode. Now that I have him selected, I can come over here and hit spacebar. It's going to add an identical uh, monster. So the same shotgun guy. He's, now this guy's going to see me. As soon as the level loads, this guy's going to see me. I can add another one over here, and I can point him so he sees me. But you know what? I don't want this too hard on easy mode, so I'll uncheck that. So in easy mode, this guy won't show up. I can add another guy over here and point him this way and say he's only going to show up in hard mode. Now, if I control S and control T to start this, and it's going to sh start it, uh, I believe, whatever the medium mode is. So when I start this with control T to test it, uh, I should not see this guy. I should see the other three, I believe. Let's see. So I see that guy and these two guys behind me that are already shooting me. I can get my shotgun here. Boom. And he heard me now, and I can shoot him. Now, if I was to go here and start a new game, you can see there's only two guys because I picked easy. And if I was to come in here and pick nightmare mode, yes, all four of them are here and they are shooting me already. And I don't have that shotgun because I'm in the harder mode. So that's what these options are for over here. And I have no clue. I'm assuming this is short for ambush. I need to look up what that means. Uh, I've never used it. So, and you can have... You can type in an angle here, but for the most part, you're going to use these arrows. I want this guy either facing this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. I mean, I can't think of any time where you want it in between those two, but you can, I guess, manually type in a number here. 
So that's adding things. There's other options. Again, we can go in here and I can go up here to all and scroll through all of these. So I can go here and I can add, change that guy to a barrel. I didn't mean to change him to a barrel. If you have things selected, so like if I was to select all of these and click, click barrel, now they're all barrels. And if I click this, now they're all um, uh, not Hell Knights, but um, Baron of Hells. Uh, let's go ahead and change them all back to shotgun guys. Although they are saving their difficulty levels, so certain things will show up in other cases. So if I hit spacebar again, it's going to add the last one that I had selected. Let's go ahead and say all for this. And I'm going to change him to a barrel. And now I can add three barrels around that guy. And again, I'm snapping to the grid right now. If I want to put another barrel in between this guy, I'm going to hit five on my number pad to lower, make a smaller grid here. And now I can add another one here. Or if I hit F to turn off freeze mode, I can just put them wherever I want. And let's go ahead. I'm going to click right here on top of player one. And I'm going to go to weapons. And I'm going to add a double barrel shotgun. Now, when I start this level, I'm going to be standing on that double barrel shotgun and I'm going to get it right away. So I'm going to hit control S, control T, and right away, as soon as I move a little bit, boom, that guy's dead. And of course, I picked up his shotgun. Boom. Perfect. And again, another thing that you might want to think about is adding things like health packs. So I can spacebar over here, and I can come up here to uh, health and armor. And again, when you spacebar, make sure that you have these flags checked because you might have uh, last selected something that's only on hard, only on difficulty, uh, hard difficulty. And uh, you might miss that. And I've done that before where I add a bunch of things and I realize I had it turned off for a thing that I didn't want. So we're going to add this health pack here. And you know what? I have that health pack there. But I don't want to give on hard. I'm not going to give you this large health pack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit space bar and change that to this smaller health pack and give that on hard. So on easy and medium, you're going to get the big health pack there. And on hard, you're going to get the small. So again, if I was to control S to save it, control T to test it, I can fight these guys. Oh, I should get my double barrel shotgun out. Oh, I died already. Let's see. Get my double barrel shotgun, kill this guy, kill that guy. Let's, oh, I hate when I, and there we go. And you can see I've got this, this health pack here. I'm going to pick that up and it's going to give me a bunch of health. But if I come in here and I go down to nightmare mode, Yes, let's pick this up. And they killed me before I was ready to go. Boom, but you can see it's a smaller health pack now, which only gives me, I think, 10 health points. So we've added some items, other type of items that you might want to add. I can again hit space bar here, uh, you know, different categories. Uh, you can go to bonus things, so like a pack here. I can also add decor, so like I can come over here, let's turn snap back on, so I'm going to hit F to turn off free mode, and I'm going to snap to the grid, I'm going to put that there, and you have things like decor, which can be, uh, you know, I can put a little podium here, or if we're outside, I can put a tree, or I guess I could put a tree inside, a little podium with a beating heart on it, uh, and then there's also gore, if you want to add some gore, so I can, let's just put... Uh, Oh, and by the way, I'm dragging this map around by clicking down my mouse wheel, which I usually call center clicking. So I'm going to add this little podium here, and I am going to add in, you know, a dead monster there or a guy on a spike. Uh, and now, notice I did what I was talking about earlier, both with this guy and this podium. I'm going to select both of those. I only had them set to hard because that was the last item I had selected. Let's make sure we have those things show up on all difficulty levels. Control S, Control T. And there is our guy wiggling around on a spike. And a little podium with our beating heart. Bum, 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 bum. And that is how you add things to your level. And give it different, different difficulty levels, different options for when they show up. And again, uh, things like co-op mode, or oh, SP, single player mode. That's what it is. So you can have things show up in single player mode, which is what we're playing now. But if you only want them to show up in co-op mode, you can do that. Uh, for example, maybe co-op mode. Uh, since this shotgun here is on me, I'm going to get it. If I wanted to add a shot, you know, three more for the other players, I can do that. Where you may not want three of them showing up 
in co-op or in single player mode. And deathmatch mode, you know, again, you might want to have different elements in deathmatch mode. You might not want to have any of the bad guys show up in deathmatch mode. Maybe you do. Uh, just things to think about. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Again, there's going to be another video. Check out the link in the description for the full playlist if you aren't already watching it. And as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.